Assalamu alaikum, welcome to 18 Bangla. This is Afifa Faris Khan with the news first DCB headlines. Enlistment of expatriate voters begins next month. BNP planning to launch major movement by forging greater party community to realize demand for fair election. CPD appearance increasing money laundering in the election year, tax free income of individuals up to 3 lakh taka suggested. And Prime Minister urges all to be united against drug like they did against militancy. Now on to the details. Enlistment of expatriate voters will begin next month. Director General of National ID Registration Department informed that the expatriates will be made voters after assessment of all their information so that no Rohingya can be included in the voters list. BNP is planning to launch a major movement by forging greater political unity with those parties who are outside the 20-party alliance to realize demand for free and fair election. BNP policymakers have also informed that discussion with various parties including Jukto Front and Gona Forum is at the final stage. Meanwhile, BNP has alleged that the government is creating panic through extrajudicial killings in the name of anti-drug drive to suppress the opposition movement. Research think that Tank CPD is apprehending that money laundering would rise under cover of commodity import in the election year. Addressing a press conference, CPD spokesman also said that it would not be possible to enhance private investment by reducing corporate tax without improving business environment. At the same time, it also suggested to ensure tax for income limit of individuals up to 3 lakh taka. One lakh eighty thousand crore taka has been earmarked for the annual development program ADP for the next fiscal year for the development work in public sector. The size of new ADP has been increased by about 17% than that of current fiscal. The economists opined that the rate of implementation of projects are not increasing due to lack of efficiency despite rise of allocation every year. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged all to be united against the drug as they did against militancy. She made the call while inaugurating ferry service in Munchiganj and Sheikh Hasina Dorodhola Bridge in Kurigram through video conference from Bangabhavan. The Prime Minister also emphasized on the dredging rivers for making them negligible to in continue communication of the river channels. Her Mr. Asadaman Khan Kamal has informed that the probe committee headed by a magistrate has started its work as per the audio clip of the killing of Teknap Municipality Councillor Ekram. At a separate program, our military general secretary Ubadul Kader has said that if Ekram is found innocent, action will be taken against those who spread falsehood against him. Now news from abroad. Two Indian parliamentary first members were shot dead by Pakistani army in Kashmir. At least eight civilians were injured. Indian army officials alleged that Pakistani army carried out the attack without any instigation. The attack was launched on some Indian army checkposts and bordering villages. Finally, sports. And Afghanistan beat Bangladesh by 45 runs in the first T20 of the three match series at Dera Dawn in India. Winning the toss, Bangladesh sent Afghanistan to bat first. They scored 167 runs, losing eight wickets. In reply, the Tigers were bundled out at 122 runs with a brilliant spell of Rashid Khan. And that's the end of this bulletin. To view 18 Manga News browse www.youtube.com slash 18 Tube News. Subscribe and remain with 18 Manga. Allah Hafiz.